Hi everyone, I'm Kat and welcome to my channel, Naturally Beautiful Girl. So I feel a little funny being completely bare face um, starting out my video, but today we are going to be doing an unboxing and first impressions of the February Good Being Box. And I'm bare faced because one of the products is a like sunscreen kind of tinted CC cream. Um, I'm going to be doing a first impressions of that product and applying it onto my face, so I have a bare face. I know I'm a little bit late getting this video up, but my box just came a little bit later in the month and as you guys know, I've been <laughs> incredibly busy recently. I've had a job interview, crossing my fingers about that. At this point, I don't know anything. I'm getting ready to move. I'm writing my thesis. I'm preparing to graduate. Like there's just a lot of stuff going on. So I do apologize. I am hoping that really once April rolls around, my schedule will be a little bit more normal. So the end of February and of course March are gonna be a little bit wild for me, but just hang in there. We'll kind of get things start sorted out. Um, I should start off by saying that I am an affiliate um, for Good Being and I was sent this box, but as always, I want to give you my genuine thoughts and opinions on all the products in the box. Even though I was sent the box, I think it's really important for me to share with you my honest thoughts because you want to figure out if the box is worthwhile for you or if you want to try out these products. You need to know all the information and I want to give you all the information. So this box is $24.95 and you normally get mostly sample size but sometimes full size products. And the one really cool thing about this box is you typically get to pick around two of your products. So it's not a completely blind subscription box. You do have a say in your products and I will tell you which ones I picked and which ones were picked for me. The products that are picked for you, I think are very well catered to you because you have to fill out a very extensive survey about your preferences about products. And if you are vegan, you can specify that you only want vegan products. They all are non-toxic products and a lot of them are vegan. If you want truly just vegan products, you can't specify that. I get the beauty box. There's one that is a beauty and lifestyle box that contains supplements. Supplements just aren't really my thing. So I just get the beauty box. And also if you'd like to go ahead and subscribe to this box, I do have an affiliate link and I would really appreciate if you use that. It really does help to support my channel, Naturally Beautiful Girl, and lets me review more products for you guys, which I think is a win-win for everybody. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in. So this product is one of the products I picked out and this is the Suntegrity Impeccable Skin Moisturizing Face Sunscreen. And this is a broad spectrum SPF 30 sunscreen and the active ingredient is zinc oxide. So it is a physical sunscreen, it's not a chemical sunscreen. And that also means that it's reef safe as well. And I have the shade Ivory. We're gonna find out if it's anywhere near my skin tone. Hopefully it is. I'm probably going to be going in with a foundation on top of this product because I don't think the coverage is that high and I have some um, unwanted visitors currently due to all my stress. But I am really excited to try this out because I have tried their other five-in-one facial sunscreen before and I like it and I often uh, take samples of it with me to travel. But my issue with that is it is a more moisturizing, hydrating formula and this one is a more matte formula. So I hope for my fellow oily skinned people that this will work better for us because it is supposed to be more matte. So let's go ahead and apply this and see what it looks like. The shade Right off the bat, I can just tell from on my finger, it looks good, it's not too orange, it's not too yellow, it's not too pink, and it looks fairly light. So we are off to a good start. Yeah, this looks, this looks good. I feel so funny applying like a really heavy duty sunscreen right now because it's February. I'm like barely seeing the sun at this point. So first impressions of this product, it provides basically no coverage. I feel like the tint more than anything just helps to prevent being white cast. 
I would not use this alone on an everyday basis. I would probably only use this alone if I were going to the beach because I don't wear makeup at the beach, but most other times I am outside, I will put makeup on top of my sunscreen. I will layer my products like that. And so I would not um, use this alone. I think it, I mean, I think there's a little bit of a glow to my skin. It did feel fairly matte going on. It didn't feel oily or greasy at all. I'm really curious to see how it wears throughout the day. Hopefully if I remember, I will add in the description box down below how this wears throughout the day. Cause that for me is really the test of whether something is matte or not, is if I get really oily or if my makeup breaks apart throughout the day, that's kind of how I can tell what's going on with the product. This one does remind me a fair amount of the California Pure Naturals uh, CC cream that I really like. Unfortunately, that one right now only comes in the shade Fair, but in terms of consistency, texture, and how it applied, it reminds me of that. I think they both have an SPF of 30. I think they're pretty comparable in terms of SPF. Really, the big question is gonna be how this wears throughout the day on my oily skin. So. I am going to jump off camera, do some more of my makeup, and then I will be back to show you my next product, which is also a makeup product. I put on some foundation and a little bit of concealer, not concealer under my eyes though, because I am going to go in with a cream blush. And if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that I like to put on a cream blush and then put on my concealer under my eyes because in case I get my blush too up high, I can use my concealer to correct the problem, which, um, I'm not always the best at doing my makeup and I need ways to be able to fix things because sometimes things go a little bit awry. But I do want to say that I put on my Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation. I am trying out the shade Sable. I'm trying to figure out if Sable or um, Formentera is a better shade for me. They're both the fair shades, but they have different undertones. I kind of like Sable. I'm leaning towards Sable at the moment. You guys can let me know what you think. It did apply really well on top of the Sun Integrity sunscreen, which is always a concern for me. Cause like I said, I like to layer my foundation on top of my sunscreen. So that did work really well. So the next product I'm going to be talking about is another one that I picked out. You can tell I like picking out kind of makeup products. It's my weakness, but this is a product from Hand Skincare Cosmetics. And I recently did a video all about hand skincare. I will link that video up above. Um, this is another new product that they launched, but I didn't, um, have it with me and hadn't had a chance to try it out because it came in my good being box when I filmed that video. So um, this is kind of a, a little addition. It's a footnote to that video. This is the multi-stick from Ham Skincare Cosmetics and I have the shade Rose Dust, which is this kind of um, rosy, dusty rose pink color. I guess Rose Dust makes sense as the name. Let me go ahead and swatch this for you guys. Okay, so I have played around a little bit with their cream blush formula. I don't own any of them, but I have played around with it in the Credo store and this feels to me more pigmented. It is a pretty creamy product, um, but the, I think it is more pigmented than the cream blushes. I think the cream blushes are a little bit more sheer. I don't own one, so I don't know for sure, but just kind of in my playing around with them, it's kind of the gist I got. You can use this product on your lips, on your cheeks, on your eyes. I'm probably just going to use it on my cheeks. I don't typically like these multi-use products applied on my lips or on my eyes. I prefer them on my cheeks, so that's where we're going to apply this. So let me go ahead and uh, apply some blush and let's see what we think. Oh, I should have mentioned, I forgot, I was thinking about it when I was applying the blush that the Sun Tiger D sunscreen is vegan. This multi-stick is not vegan because it does contain beeswax. And okay, so I've got it on and I kind of love it. It is the most beautiful light pink color. It just gives the perfect amount of color to my cheeks, but it's not too much. It's pigmented enough that I got the color on, but it's not so pigmented that I you know, look like a clown. And it was so creamy, so easy to blend out. Like this product, I am super excited to try it out some more. This is my first time using it, but so far first impressions, it is spot on. And I am kind of a cream blush junkie. And this formula right off the bat is knocking it out of the park. So I'm super excited to play around with this some more, but so far so good. I hope you guys think so as well. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup off camera. 
um, because I still am missing a lot. And then I will come back and we will talk about the skincare and body care products that also came in the Good Bean box. And I should mention quickly before I jump off that this is a full size product and the value of this product was $16. I don't know the values of the sample sizes of the products. I do know the values of what the full size is and this is the full size. This is already over half the cost of the box and just this one product and this is an amazing product and I got to pick it. So I got to pick the shade. I got to pick out what the product was. I believe there were a couple of hand skincare products and some other options as well. Um, I chose this one because I hadn't tried it out, but it is amazing. I'm super excited. All right, now I feel a little bit more made up. Um, now I've got some more makeup on. I told myself, I was like, oh, I'm gonna go late. I'm gonna go easy with the makeup. And then this happened. Anyway, um, I do wanna say I also applied the Hand Skincare Cosmetics lip gloss in the shade Nude Rose. And I had, it's also got rose in the same, but I feel like it does pair very well with the multi-stick. I really have been loving this lip gloss, so I wanted to put this on and it does coordinate very well color-wise which I always appreciate when brands have products that kind of color coordinate together well because it makes your whole makeup application color coordination process a little easier. Okay, so now we're going to move on to some skincare and body care products that I got in the Good Being box this month. And one of them I saw it and was like, I already know I love this. And these are some of the Ursa Major face wipes. Um, I got three of them. If you guys have been watching my videos at all recently, you know that I love these Ursa Major face wipes. They are perfect for traveling. I like to use them to remove my makeup when I travel. And I'm normally not a big fan of like individually wrapped products, but for travel, you can just count out how many you need. You can bring them with you. And unlike travel packs of face wipes, um, these don't dry out because they're individually wrapped. Like what always would happen to me when I would use like travel wipes in sets of like 10, for instance, um, I would use like five or six of them, but then have like four knocking around. And by the next time I went to travel, the other four were dried out. Whereas because these are individually wrapped, that doesn't happen. So I'm going to be um, holding on to those and using them next time I travel. So I'm excited to have more of those because I already purchased the full size of it. Um, and I'm always happy to replenish my stock of Ursa Major face wipes. And I should mention that those face wipes are also vegan. So the next product is something that's a little bit interesting. I hadn't really seen anything like this. And this is by the brand Sade Baron. I think that's how you say it. I've not heard of this brand before. And that's one thing I do like about subscription boxes in general is it does give me a chance to try out um, different brands. And one of the things they do ask you in the survey for good being is whether you want to try out kind of more mainstream brands or more indie brands. So you can kind of cater your box that way as well. I like trying out mainstream brands because a lot of times those are the ones that you guys are most interested in, but I always do love learning about new brands because there's always new brands popping up in non-toxic beauty. And this one, um, is a new one to me. This is, a, it's called their autumn mist and it's a balance and hydrate mist. And at first when I got it, I was like, oh, it's a face mist. But then I was actually reading the little card that came in the Good Bean box. And I found out that it's actually a body mist. So um, it's an autumn scented mist that you can use on your body. It has aloe vera in it. It has witch hazel. So I did try this out this morning. I took a shower this morning, shaved my legs, and then sprayed this onto my legs because I was thinking if it was soothing, like that might be nice after I shave my legs because my legs do get a little irritated. It was an interesting experience for me because the last time I really used anything that was like a body mist, was back in like middle school when I would use like a body mist from like the body shop or something like that. Like that is the last time I thought about using a body mist. The scent reminded me of kind of like an apple cider, apple vinegar scent. Um, it was interesting. It was not what I was expecting. I'm going to try this out some more. I do like a good face mist, but I guess my concern with this product is that I I'm a busy person and I'm sure many of you are too. You might be stay at home moms, which is incredibly busy on its own. You might be a working mom, which is busy too. Or you might just be working well, like what I'm doing or a student. And I guess my thing is that I always want to keep my routine as minimal as I can. The one good thing about this product is that it is a mist. So it's a pretty fast application. The con of it is it does add another step into my routine, which I previously didn't have. And this is a vegan product, so that um, is nice. I just, I'm not sure I really needed this stuff in my routine is I guess what I'm saying. It was a nice product. I enjoyed the experience, 
but I don't know if it's a product that I would purchase again. Unless it does something amazing for me, I don't really see myself adding this stuff into my routine. This is a full size of this body mist. This is a um, value of $8 for this product. And then the final product in this month's box is a um, vitamin C serum. And this is a full size product. It's only one fluid ounce. It is really tiny. Um, and the value of this is $43. So this product alone is worth more than the box cost by nearly double. So we definitely got a box this month that was worth more than double what the cost was, which that's pretty cool. So this is a vitamin C serum. It says to use in the morning, which I thought was interesting. I would have thought to use vitamin C at night, but it does say to use, best to use in the morning. It said you can use two times a day, best to use in the morning. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna score any of this out for you because it is such an expensive product and I want to kind of savor it but it is a gel, which I was not expecting at all. The consistency is clear gel. It's not like a viscous serum, like the Grain Skincare Full Moon Serum. It's not like the Uni, um, oh, what is that mist called? The Hydra, the Jelly Mist. It's not like that, like it is a gel. It is a full gel, not a viscous liquid. I feel like I need to create like a little scale. This is the chemist in me about like the viscosity of different products and be like, this and kind of like create a little gradated scale and be like, this product's over here, and this product's here, and this product's here to help you guys. Um, <laughs> that would just be really nerdy, but it might, maybe it'd be helpful. I did try out this product this morning. It did feel really nice on my skin. I like that it's not oily. I like that it wasn't heavy because it was a gel. It just kind of absorbed in nicely, which I do have oily skin. So um, that's always a big concern for me, like kind of how do products absorb into my skin. One of the first ingredients in here is aloe vera, which is interesting. And then um, it does contain 18% vitamin C. We can get into the whole discussion about vitamin C and vitamin C decomposing and whether or not it's actually doing much for your skin. I'm not convinced that by the time the vitamin C gets onto our skin, it's actually doing any good. I'm willing to try out this product and let you guys know if I see any differences in my skin. Um, I don't know if we will. Vitamin C, because it is antioxidant basically, its whole job is to break down um, and protect our body from free radicals. So as soon as it comes in contact with anything, it's going to start breaking down. So I will try it out. We will see. My first use today, I liked it. It's a product though that we're definitely going to have to see with time if it does improve the condition of my skin or not. I do have to say that I really enjoyed my box this month. I really like Good Being because you do have some say in the matter. You do get to pick out some of your products. It's not a fully blind process. And I think that the survey that you fill out, they actually really do take that into account when curating your box. And I felt like my box was very curated to me. For instance, I suspect that I got the Ursa Major wipes because in my December box, I had, I didn't get the January box, but in the December box, I had picked out the Ursa Major deodorant. I think that may have been kind of like marked down that I wanted to try out that deodorant. So then they gave me another Ursa Major product. I don't know, but I, I'm very happy with what I got in this box. I think it's a really great value and yeah, if you guys are interested in checking this box out, once again, I do have an affiliate link. Any money that I make from an affiliate link just goes to support Naturally Beautiful Girl and to keep this channel running. Um, if you guys have been following me on Instagram, which if you haven't, you should. My handle is at Naturally Beautiful Girl. I have been purchasing a lot of products recently. Um, there are so many exciting new launches that have been coming out and I want to share those with you guys. So I have been purchasing a lot. I do get sent a few things every once in a while from brands and I'm always really, really grateful when I do, but I do purchase a lot of my own product. So that's why my support is helpful. Like I said, be sure to check out my Instagram. I'm trying to do kind of more posts on there. Trying, I like get going and then something happens and I get really busy and then I fall off the bandwagon, but I am trying, I have goals for myself. I'm working really hard at this. So hopefully um, I will get that kind of more up and running where I can do some mini reviews on my Instagram as well. And also, if you'd like to see more non-toxic beauty content, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.